Greetings, Commanders. This is Commander Atlas Rand. Today, I want to do a quick video and just show you one of the ways to get merits really quickly in the new PowerPlay 2.0. Now, there may be other ways to do it quickly as well, but so far, this is the fastest way I've discovered to do it. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be buying exotic goods rare goods, unique goods, whatever they're called, and then bringing them to a system uh, that uh, your power is in. Uh, you can also bring them to a system that nobody has taken, um, but is right next to your power as well. Just make sure that it's right next to your power. So first let me uh, get in the station here. So this is Sharon Lee Free Market, which is a station in, uh, let's see, where are we? We are in uh, Orere, O-R-R-E-R-E. -E. And, oh, no, I don't want the automatic. I'll come in there manually. Thank you very much. Um. And this is one of the stations that has um, these rare goods sold. It's not the only station. There's probably about 30 different places that have rare goods. But um, this is certainly one of them. Come on, land. Come on. There we go. So this is the one that I'm using. Uh, you're, you can use this one. You can use others. All that's really involved is going in and buying the rare good in the commodity market. This one happens to be called Orion Vicious Brew. Let's buy all of it that is available and get out of here. Now, if you're a more advanced player, you've got an, a carrier then of course, what you can do is just buy this, fly to your carrier, unload it, fly back here, buy some more, fly back to your carrier, unload it, and just do that over and over so you can load up a large amount of it all at once on a carrier. Uh, if you're a newer player, you don't have a carrier yet, just make sure you have a ship that has enough cargo capacity to carry this. Um, I bought 128, which I think is the most that you can get of any of the rare goods. So most ships, most medium ships or large ships should be able to carry this. And this character is pledged to uh, Lee Rui. And so all I'm going to do is open up my map, go to power play, go to this tab right here, map mode, power play, uh, acquiring. I think it's acquiring. Is it undermined? No, it's got to be acquiring. And then go to the Lee Rui area. Well, maybe it's not this. It's, I thought I was looking at this. Let me just turn him on in here. Go to unoccupied. Um, so this is the system that I went to. I'm just going to turn on normal mode just so I can plot it. So this is the one that I went to before. Study board for LPC uh, but if you look at your whoever your pledge is, you can turn everything on so you see all the systems. Um, boy, that is not showing us anything here. What's going on? So total. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, re total everything. Oh, select the power. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now that the power has been selected, reinforcing, undermining. So acquiring, I think, is what I did, and it showed me that. Maybe I'm too far away. Maybe that's the issue. We're going to start flying there. But basically what you're looking for is a system that is controlled by the power that you pledged to. Um, I don't think this the one I was going to was fortified or anything special. It was just a system that is uh, controlled by the power. Uh, once we land there, I'll take a look at the uh, specifics on it and show you what that system looks like. 
And again, it could be either a system that is currently controlled by or immediately adjacent to a controlled by, but not controlled by anybody at all. Now, as per usual, I am not cutting anything out of the video. So if you're, uh, if you don't want to be, watch me jump for systems, feel free to just fast forward the video. And, uh, so this is the first out of four. We got three more to go. Yeah, three more. And that's the shortest route that I find going direct. And again, normally if, if you have a carrier, you're just going to load up the carrier. You're not going to fly directly from buying a rare good to unloading it at the system. This does take more time than going back and forth with the carrier in the same system. But since I'm making most of these videos for people that are newer to the game, you're probably not going to have a carrier if you're watching this. And the reason I say this is probably the fastest method is because yesterday I spent about four hours trying different activities that uh, all have to do with uh, getting merits. And... Today, um, I found out about this method. Well, I actually did a little bit of this last time. I just didn't really pay attention to how much, how much it generates in terms of merits. So now that I'm actually paying attention to how much it's generating in terms of merits, it does seem like it's quite a bit better than bounties, better than, um, you know, shooting enemy ships, better than doing most activities that I tried to do yesterday. Although I will say doing graffiti is still pretty fun. If you haven't done graffiti, I'm sure you've seen it by now. When you fly to a station, you have the advertisements in front of every station entrance. Well, those can now be hacked. And you can have, uh, you get some merits for hacking them. Uh, but it, it's not a huge amount of merits. It's just more fun to do that than see the power that you're pledged to. Uh, be on those uh, on those advertisements instead of actual ads. Uh, you do get penalized for it. You do have to pay at the station to remove the um, uh, the infraction, but it's a pretty minor amount. It's I, I think it's a thousand money per um, per display that you uh, hack, but. That's fun. This is actually more profitable in terms of generating merits. Okay, I think we have one jump left. Oh, we're here. Okay, well, that was quick. So, fly to the station. And this is, this is a system that is four jumps away, which is the, the closest that I found. Um... You're, uh, depending on what kind of goods you're delivering and which system you're going to and from, you may be closer, you may be further away than that. The one thing you can't do is you can't both pick up and deliver the goods into the same system. They don't want to make it quite that easy for you. Uh, let's see if we make this. Yeah, we made it. Nice. Uh, and for anybody watching that's wondering why I was able to make this even though it looked like i was going way too fast uh watch my other video where i explain um how to do that um let's see what am i doing oh quest docking yeah so if you use super cruise assist it can actually be a little cheaty super cruise assist is able to pull you out of warp even though you're moving way too fast but if you watch that video, I kind of go through and explain how to do that. All right, let's dock and I'll show you just how much 128 rare goods generate in terms of merits. And incidentally, uh, yesterday when I was doing this, uh, for about four hours worth of different activities that were all geared around generating merits, I was able to 
I, I think I ended the day after four hours with about three and a half thousand merits, um, which I thought was pretty good. It, it got me to several levels, but this is much faster. So we just did a four jump trip. Now what I'm going to do is just go in here, commodity market, sell, sell the stuff that we bought. Uh, we, I don't think we're going to make a whole lot. We're, okay, we're going to make a little bit. So $2 million over. No, that's the sales price. We're not going to make that much profit. But that's not what's important. So if I sell these, I guess I am going to make $2 million in profit. That's surprising. But pay attention to the right side of the screen where it'll show the merits. Earn 3,000 merits for Lee Young Ru. It took me four hours almost four hours to get that doing other activities. This was a 10 minute four jump flight that resulted in 3000 merits. So this character that I'm doing it on, I haven't even finished the, uh, the power play assignments. Um, I've just started it, but even though I haven't finished them, I'm actually at, if I go into here, power play, uh, so I'm not even done with the first assignment, but look at my merits, 14,000 merits. So that's enough to get me almost to rank five. And that's from doing three of these trips back and forth, maybe four. So it is amazingly easy. Now I do have to finish all the assignments before I can rank up further, but, uh, this, <laughs> this has got to be one of absolutely the fastest way to make merits. And if you really wanted to, you can even buy something at this station, like tritium, for example. I always buy tritium. I could always use more tritium. It's not at a particularly cheap price, but it's something that I can always use. And so that way I'm hauling something both directions uh, and making money on it or something that I actually need for my carrier in, in this instance. But there it is. Just try uh, going that same route. Look for any commodities that are rare. Uh, I happen to have picked these Orion Vicious Brew commodities, but it could be other types as well. And then um, haul them to uh, systems either right next to the systems of your power or to systems of your actual power. I did both. The payout is exactly the same. Hope you enjoyed the video uh, and stay tuned for more videos about power play and other topics. I'm focusing on making videos for beginners. So if this is all obvious and old stuff to you, just keep in mind, I'm focusing on people that either returned to the game or are brand new to the game. Thanks for watching.